I've always painted, so it's something I've always done. And I didn't necessarily think it was going to be a career. I just thought it was something I always enjoyed. And, you know, I, I think one thing leads to another. I graduated early from UVA because I, I went to University of Virginia. And I had so many art credits that the dean called me in one day and said, you know, you can graduate early if you just major in art. And so I was like, okay. After that, I really just felt um, like th that's what I like to do. You know, one thing led to another, and I think growing up in New Orleans, you know, maybe you become more aware of the visual world, and, and I think, you know, that's something that affected me always, just the, the beauty of New Orleans and the place I just happened to grow up. When I started, a lot of, you know, thinking of it as a career, people, like anyone giving advice, really said, you can... You know, it's hard to do anyway. You cannot do it in New Orleans. You cannot be a professional artist in New Orleans. And th that made sense to me because I didn't really know any. My work's evolved a lot, um, like I think any artist probably, but I used to just really paint what I saw in front of me. When I was young, it was really important for me to learn, you know, how to draw, how to paint the apple on the plate or whatever I was painting. So I really painted landscapes and still lives and people. And to me, that was really fulfilling because I was learning how to do it. And then all of a sudden it became like a, you know, I was looking for more in art. I became enamored with cubism, for example, where, you know, you have an apple on a plate, but you also have the third dimension of time where you're moving around the apple on the plate. And, you know, I was, I, I wanted to emulate that in a certain way, not by copying cubism but by adding a new element to my work so that's when I started with adding collage and found objects I started looking around what what really struck me visually were the old walls you know you walked by or the old houses and the layers of paint that you could see that that really held the history of the house or the wall or the space and to me, it really added another dimension. Just like cubism adds the dimension of time, this added a dimension of time as well through layering. And so I really just copied that. And so all those things started to enter my work. Um, so from both an emotional perspective and a visual perspective, my work changed and, and became what it is today, which, which involves a lot of layering and um, different materials. It's so hard to, for me to talk about how I paint because it's all tied up in why I paint. There's a whole myth of the origin of drawing, which, which I love, and it's, you know, totally fiction. But this woman, you know, back in ancient times was mourning the fact that her lover was going off to war. So supposedly how drawing was invented was she traced, you know, she held a candle up to his face and traced his silhouette on the wall so that she would remember him when he was away. And to me, th that's why I paint, that idea. And I think that really captures painting, drawing, to me, because it shows that depiction is always tied up with memory, with loss, with, with love even, or, you know, a certain a, a wealth of emotions. And, I mean, when you think about it, you don't pick, you know, images are so important, you don't save a picture of someone you don't love or someone you don't sometimes you want to be or want to be with or you know have some emotional connection to even if it's imaginary you know a lot of people say their paintings are about light or you know about whatever and um, I really think my paintings are about memory and and the prevalence that 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 plays in our lives whether we know it or not I try to recreate how I see through making paintings. So when I think of an, an apple or I see an apple, I also see that the apples I've eaten before, the, the other fruit I might want to eat, the, a word that describes apple or fabric print that has, you know, some flowers in it that reminds me of an apple tree. So all those things I start to put in the work. So instead of just the image, you know, there are words, there, there's fabric, there's, you know, different layers, additive and subtractive. So I rip things off, I add things on. My process of painting imitates the process of vision. Um, so that's how I work, just by adding layers and then adding paint and taking it off. Painting is just a metaphor for, for life and for, for psychology and for how, how everything works, both vision and emotions and, and everything. And so I just make that manifest visually, those ideas.